Hi everyone, it's me, Spring the Fiber Enthusiast, and welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you've been here since the beginning or anywhere in between, welcome back. All right, so we got a few things to talk about today. Our Sunday podcast is just a recap of what's happened this past week, as well as what is to come in the next week. Um, or in the future. So also, if I've had any happy mail that goes in, and as well as um, there's a Sunday slideshow for those who have shared their works in the Facebook group or emailed them to me, um, that goes into a slideshow. And then, of course, membership credits happen at the end. So Everything here is fiber arts related um, for the most part. There are different things along the way that come up. So we're going to get into it. This week has been this. It has been 100% busy finishing the recording for this shawl and working on the pattern through Stitch Fiddle getting it on Ravelry, all of that type of stuff. That has been the main focus this week. And Thursday morning, I actually finished everything. So here we are. It's only Saturday for me. Um, anybody that has a membership, whether you were gifted one or you have an ongoing uh, membership, you will see this when I finish recording it and get it out there. Everybody else will see it on Sunday morning or after that point when it has uploaded. Um, so Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesdays are generally speaking tutorial based. So it could be anything from my own patterns to stitch tutorials and it's a wide range. It can be knitting, tatting, Tunisian crochet, regular crochet, um, the Addy King. It could be weaving. It could be on spinning. Uh, it could be on all kinds of different things where maybe I just whip up a quick, you know, some kind of quick pattern like I did recently. Um, last week I did... Uh, the Tunisian in the round uh, beanie for a child. Now I did that uh, just so that way we had something else Tunisian to work with. I received a package of 10 different Tunisian in the round hooks, um, double ended hooks. So that was thrown in there as an extra this past week. Um, and a knitting in the round, uh, the medallion stitch pattern. So those were kind of just hurry up and try to get something else up so I could get back to work on finishing the recording for this because it took forever. But it's all done. And if you have won or purchased or was gifted, you know, in many different forms, the pattern for this. In the Mood for a Melody Shawl, it is in the Ravelry, and uh, I highly suggest going Monday morning and watching at least the intro video and the first video of the first 10 rows. That is going to help you understand what you're seeing on the pattern. Um, if, you, if you don't understand the pattern notes and follow um, the pattern and how it's written because it's written a little different than your standard uh, patterns. It is filet crochet and my descriptions are windows and blocks. But if you read the pattern notes, it explains how to create those. However, if you find that you're having a difficult time understanding the written form, please watch those two, you know, the tutorial on the first 10 rows, that's going to help you get through and understand how I write patterns. And when I say I write patterns, I created the graph. And then I created the written part through Stitch Fiddle. Um, Stitch Fiddle switched it all over to written format and then gave me all of 
what I needed and then I just filled in the blanks basically. I wrote in the pattern notes, that type of stuff. So without getting into too much more detail about this shawl, <laughs> um, if you have received the pattern, please by all means go and watch those first 10 rows of um, part one. Uh, watch the intro. That'll give you a little bit more info about the sizing and yarn. And then watch the very first uh, part. And that will give you an idea as to how to follow the pattern. All right, let's move on away from that pattern. <laughs> Can y'all tell I'm a little fed up with the pattern by now? It has been two weeks of study at it, so I, I'm pretty done with it. Um, I finished it all completely in Ravelry and everything Thursday morning. Um, well, Thursday, not morning, but Thursday. So I've had a little bit of free time since then. I needed a break from recording and crocheting and all that. Um, Thursday, during my live stream, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I finally got to spin yarn. It has been... Uh, two weeks, two weeks since I had got to spin anything. And I was able to spin that on my Ashford during the live stream. So I was happy. I finally got to spin something <laughs> and do some spinning, some work. Um, also, I have warped my small loom to begin my first overshot um, pattern from the Crazy Shot book that I ordered. I have been wanting to do overshot weaving for a while, but I finally was able to um, get a book and now I'm working on starting it. So I'll show you what I have so far. It's not much. So I've got it warped and I have it warped for, I think four mug rugs, I think is what I have it warped for. And just a little bit down here of uh, waist or the beginning part of the first mug rug. So I'm just beginning right now. On the small loom, I before I go crazy with a big loom project, which is kind of over here, um, I wanted to practice this, this style of weaving on a smaller format. So that's what I have done is make it on my small loom first, and then I can go crazy and make a throw or whatever on a bigger loom. So we'll, we'll practice first. Um, forgive me, my eye is tearing like crazy today. Also, so after I, <laughs> afterwards, after I finally got done with that, um, I was able to get back to working on some of my diamond paintings that I have going. I have five. I have five going. Um, not anymore because I completed two of them. Here is this one. And I'm going to insert a picture. It glows in the dark, y'all. <laughs> so I finished that one. I was really, really happy to get that one finished. It's got some really cool um, beads on it. It's got I don't know if you can, yeah, there you go. You can kind of see that way. So it's got some really cool beads on it. So I finished that one, get it out of the way. And I finished one of the several elephant ones that I have. So there we are. So I finished that elephant um, as well. And I am tickled to death to have two of the five done. Now I can concentrate more in depth on one of the big ones that I have um, that I need to get done this month. No questions asked. Um, something else I did this week is I had to do some sewing. I can't say too much about it. I can just uh, show that it's 
camouflage. Um, I have two hats to do now, but I did two tops last week, this past week. I had to get that sewing done and now I have to do these hats. So <sighs> congratulations to my husband on his promotion. And unfortunately, it is not fun to change things on those hats, but it's okay. I'll get it done. <laughs> so I do have a couple more things to sew uh, this weekend before um, it's all said and done. I will have a lot more to do, but for now, it's only two sets. Um, so that's pretty much it for me as far as what I've been up to, what's coming up um, that uh, for instance, normally Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday is tutorial based because Mondays is seven videos, seven videos. <laughs> um, and most of them are 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes long. Uh, I'm not going to have any videos on Tuesday and Wednesday. So just so you're prepared. There is nothing on Tuesday and Wednesday because I figured y'all would understand that seven videos on one day would be more than sufficient for one week, considering normally I only do three. <laughs> so yay. <laughs> all right. Um, that is it. As far as all of that stuff, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Now I do want to show a little happy mail and then we will do the slideshow and membership credits at the very end. So let's go ahead and get into Happy Mail. I received a very lovely and thoughtful package from two very wonderful people. And that is Dawn Erin, Loving Hands Creations. She will be linked down below in the Happy Mail and channels mentioned as well as Sharon Loves Purple. Both of them are just fabulous people. Um, thank you so, so very much for your generosity and your continued support for the channel. Um, Dawn has been a big promoter in uh, gifting out my pattern. So she's been purchasing the pattern and gifting it all over the place. So if you've received a, one of my pattern, you know, one of my patterns in a giveaway, it was purchased by Dawn Aaron, Loving Hands Creations. And I can't thank her enough for that. That support means a lot to me. So you can thank her <laughs> for that wonderful, wonderful, thoughtful uh, gift. She, um, her and Sharon got together a package of goodies and kind of all kinds of stuff. So I want to go through some of the stuff that was sent to me in this package. Um, I received some Canadian goodies like Mars bars, uh, coffee crisp, uh, cherry blossom, some wine gums, some chocolate espresso, <laughs> lots of goodies, and a uh, stitch marker. I am a collector of elephants. I love elephants. I've been collecting them for probably 30 years. I've been collecting elephants. So anything elephant related is just like, yeah. So I received a stitch marker as well. Let's see if I can get it to quit moving here, but it's a beautiful elephant stitch marker. Thank you so much for that. As well as check this bag out, y'all. It's got elephants on it and it's that darker blue on cream. Oh, it's so pretty. Love it. And if you don't know who Dawn Erin Loving Hands Creations is, oh my goodness, she has made me 
a couple of things now, this being the first one that she made. And I absolutely love him. He is just amazing and just oh, love him. But recently in this gift box that she sent, um, she made this elephant for me. Check it out. Oh my goodness. Look at the little feet. The ears are so thin and well-shaped. The little eyes. Look at that. Is that not awesome, y'all? So there is my little elephant. I said it's Ellie the elephant. <laughs> and also in that um, box was... A coffee mug so my favorite colors are green and orange and I love just about every color of green except Kelly green but depending on the situation so this mug has mushrooms on it I love it I love mushroom coffee as well and it says spore me another <laughs> for mushroom spores right and get it here I received some beautiful yarn that is from, some of it is from uh, yarn dyers that were in uh, Canada. So some more things from Canada. Now, now everything comes from Canada in here, but I'm just going to kind of go over some of the stuff. So this was ice yarn. As we know, it didn't come from Canada. Well, it's not from a Canadian dyer. <laughs> So there's that. It's I love the greens in it because it goes all the shades of green there. Just so pretty. Uh, let's see. Some Malabrego. Check it out. Is it not pretty? Then we have, this is by Cool Cat Fiber Works. Check out this one. You will see fiber hanging from every different direction because I've been spinning yarn. So there's like fiber, fiber everywhere. <laughs> but there we are. There is that one. This one is Sweet Georgia. And it's super pretty. Love those earthy colors. And this one is Ruby. Super, super pretty. Y'all, this one, I absolutely fell in love with the label. It says Mad Science Dye and Fiber. Check out that label. Is that not cool? Very, very neat. And of course, the yarn is green, so... That's cool, too. And then this one, I love this one, too. This one is from WN Yarns, and its name is So Many Colors. There we are. And it's rainbow. So we got the rainbow colors. Very, very pretty. So that's what was in the box. And then there was a beautiful card, beautiful, beautiful card like that. And a very lovely letter from Dawn and Sharon. So thank you so much, ladies. You guys are very, very much appreciated. I can't thank you enough for being such wonderful supporters of the channel. And thank you for this amazing box of goodies and <sighs> thank you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start that Sunday slideshow and also the members uh, credits at the end. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you for being a part of this channel. Also, thank you for those of you that have purchased the pattern. I appreciate you. And as always, if you have any issues and you need to get in touch with me, please reach out. I will help you in every way possible that I can. 
if you have an issue with one of my patterns. This is my very first written pattern, so kind of nervous about it, but it's out there. Can't do anything about it now, right? All right, everyone. Be blessed. Be a blessing. And until next time, bye for now.